The expansion of the COVID-19 vaccine for children brings hope and excitement. However, we understand that many parents have questions about getting their kids vaccinated. Dr. Jeffrey Kahn is Chief of Infectious Diseases at Children's Health and a Professor of Pediatrics at UT Southwestern. And he's here this morning to address some of the most common concerns to help parents feel informed about this decision. Good morning, so nice to have you with us. Good morning. So, Dr. Khan, in your opinion, is the COVID-19 vaccine safe for children? Absolutely. We have uh, large amounts of clinical data, uh, clinical trial data to show that the vaccine is safe and effective. And in fact, now we have many, many months of real world data. Uh, since December, the vaccine um, has been given to individuals greater than 16 years of age. And since May, uh, the 12 to 15 age group, and we see that the, the, the vaccine is very, very well tolerated. It's safe and it's it, most importantly, it's protective against the, against the COVID virus. So is it your opinion that parents should vaccinate kids um, even if the risk of COVID is low for children and why? What are some reasons? Well, I, you know, it's important to note that the, the risk of, of COVID in children is low compared to adults, but it's not zero. And in fact, what we've experienced now um, particularly over the last several weeks, as we see a, a large increase in the number of pediatric cases um, here in North Texas, mm -hmm. and, and in fact, throughout the country. So it's very, very important that the, that the parents can consider this. The, the, the Delta variant has really changed the dynamics of the way we're approaching uh, COVID right now. And um, so I strongly suggest that, uh, that parents uh, consider getting, back, you know, getting their children vaccinated. So could you talk about what you think are some of the benefits of vaccinating kids for COVID? Certainly, so there are uh, essentially four things here. So of course, the vaccine will protect children from, from illness. Um, and we've seen some pretty severe illness um, in our hospital recently. And I should mention that um, of the children who have admitted, who have been admitted recently uh, to children who are vaccine eligible, um, the, essentially all of them have not been vaccinated, which really speaks to the effectiveness of the vaccine. Of course, we want to protect the community and, and reduce the spread of the virus. And the way to do that is to vaccinate as many individuals as possible. And, um, you know, right now we can only vaccinate children who are 12 years old and older, but we have to get them vaccinated to really protect the community. The third, and this is a crucial issue here, is that um, the vaccination not only stops the spread of the virus, but it stops the emergence of these variants. The Delta variant that we're dealing with right now is not going to be the last variant that we're dealing with. You know, these viruses are, are engineered, if you will, to escape uh, the, the, the immunity that we develop either by natural infection or by immunization. And they change and mutate as they go from host to host to host. So the big concern now is that if we don't get this virus under control, that we're going to that there, there are going to be variants that emerge that are going to be um, resistant to the immunity induced by natural infection or, or vaccine. And lastly, of course, we we want kids to get back to normal lifestyles. It's been very very difficult for everybody, particularly for children, um, and for a variety of reasons, education, social reasons, to get them back into school. We want to return to normalcy. Normalcy. And the way to do that, one the, the most powerful tool we have to do that are the vaccines. You, we hear, you mentioned variants, and of course we're hearing all about the Delta variant. What exactly is the Delta variant? And um, it's my understanding, and I think most people's, that it is more dangerous. So the Delta variant is one of a number of variants that have emerged throughout the pandemic. Uh, this variant was first um, um, identified in October. It first was recognized in this country, United States, back in March. And uh, to just show you how contagious this virus is, in early May, just three months ago, um, the Delta variant represented less than 5% of all the viruses that were circulating. Now, in some parts of the country, it's greater than 90% of, of the viruses circulating. And here in North Texas, about greater than 80% of, of, of the viruses circulating. So the Delta variant is, um, it, it, it is, is creating quite a challenge. It's certainly much more contagious than the other uh, viruses, the other variants that we uh, encountered. Um, and there are some data to suggest, to suggest that actually may be more virulent. So, and, and, uh, and the current vaccines do protect against the Delta variant, correct? Right, so we have two bodies of information that, that tell us that the vaccines are effective against the Delta variant. We have robust clinical trials that have gone through the, the data and have shown that it's protected. And now we also have real world data 
If you look at uh, not just children, but adults who are being hospitalized with COVID right now, the vast, vast majority of them are unvaccinated individuals. And this is with the Delta virus circulating. So what this indicates is, is, is that these that the vaccines that we have are highly effective in controlling the Delta variant. Thank you so much for joining us to talk about this very important topic for a lot of families. We appreciate your time this morning. It was my pleasure. Go to childrens.com slash COVID-19 for more information.